may think people's life in Liverpool is like this. But in the underground world, there is a group of people working there. They are the members of the Friends of Williamson's Tunnels. They are dedicated to the preservation and exploration of the tunnels for a long time. Let's listen to their stories. I've been a member since 1999. My main role is a volunteer digger and tour guide. I take care of the money. I also deal with the memberships. When I first started, this was full from the top to the bottom. I'm just one of the clear diggers. And dig. It started actually as a pressure group. So we got a group together and then it grew and it grew and it grew. Since we've cleared them out, we're getting more and more visitors. The charity's been going for quite a while now. It's very busy sometimes. I think our main problem at the moment is funding. You, you know, we work very, very hard to uh, get funding in for the charity. Everything that we do is basically come from donations and grants. I would say the, the large part of the, the workers are retired and elderly people. The age is going up and up. So we, what we want is young people to do more work. Yeah. Well, these tunnels are, are, have a lot of unique qualities, as it were. We have people from all over the country coming to see the Williamson Tunnels. It's very important with the development of the city and the history of the city. The Williamson's Tunnels consist of a series of subterranean tunnels in the Edge Hill area of Liverpool for about 200 years. It was built by a well-known tobacco merchant, Joseph Williamson. The tunnels have been mysterious because there are many unsolved questions that people are still exploring. We really do not know why Mr. Williamson was doing this. One assumption is that I want to increase the employment of the poor. Now the abundant valuable objects here, such as this plate, symbolize the prosperity of Britain. The left side of the plate is Queen Victoria, and the Prince Albert is on the right. And the huge figures at the bottom reflect the strong economic strength of the UK. The other interesting things like the stone we are standing on was a beach before the dinosaur period. We do need more skills and there's never-ending, never-ending need for more volunteers no matter what the historical site is. There's a vast network which we don't know about or we haven't found yet. We need a lot more income as it were to help to make that work, to make it into a, a really top-class uh, attraction. And I'm a member of the Williamson Tunnels. I am a member of the Friends of Williamson's Tunnels. We need your support to help preserve the Williamson Tunnels.